They're all, they know everything, right? So you are going to solve his problem. Hello, hi, can you hear me? Sound? Okay. Uh, so maybe while they get the adaptator, I will try to talk a bit about uh, what we will try to do. So this is also a part of uh, like the open stage. So it's good if you can like interact and have questions. Uh, <clears throat> I prepared, uh, I think five or six uh, files that maybe you already have seen or downloaded. I put a small notice in the, uh, in the door. And um, it would be good if you can also, people who have laptops. So uh, I don't know, who has a laptop now? Here, in the room. You, you, you have to raise your hand, even if I see it. <laughs> All right, so I think it would be, for me, it would be good if you can also uh, open it, start it, and have some fun and try to do it and see uh, if you can solve. Um, okay. Ah, maybe it's my uh, preferences display something. Okay, I have VGA display. Is it some arrangements? Arrangements. Is it okay, mirror? Uh, yeah, if you okay. want to work. No, 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 no. Yeah, mirror is fine and this. Mm -hmm. This one? Jan Willem, is that your VGA? Yeah. Oops, maybe not 100 hertz. Which? 1024, 60 hertz. It's supposed to work. Mm, maybe I can like detect display. You have something? Ah, it's working. Okay. Thank you. So, um, that's fine. So that would be that would be the um, the address for uh, downloading the files. And I know the internet here is is internet. So. We did it before, and I would try. I create a network. I will create a network uh, on the Mac with this this uh, name, O en Voyage. That's my nickname. <clears throat> and uh, if you have troubles downloading, you can like connect to my computer, and there is a shared folder where you can get the files. Hope it will work. Um, and I also have one USB stick with the files. And maybe if you have a USB stick, who has a USB stick in the f in front? Um, yeah, can we just make a copy and is it okay for you? And we can maybe share it like this, or just make it turn around and make a copy files. How many, how many people?
please show yourself. Don't be shy. I don't know. It's au en, au en voyage. Enfin, sorry, au en voyage. Um, yeah, maybe refresh or try something. Um, I had. I only have four slides. Uh, so that's my name, in case you want. And uh, the idea is also to to have a bit of interaction between the people. So I see the laptops are quite uh, well shared, but I see there are still some people alone. Yeah, I know. I'm. I know you have friends on Facebook everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I saw the guy. What did he do? He went to the laptop. So if you feel that you would like to get involved, you can just uh, hook up around the laptops and. Yeah, maybe take this guy's laptops and bring it there. <laughs> or who needs a laptop? No? OK. You need a stick? OK. So the idea is also I don't mind if you talk a little and you share with your, your neighbor and you're saying, ah, maybe you can do this or try this. And uh, let's see what it gives. I don't know. And so. Um, that's the end for my slides, so I will leave it for later. Uh, I will do a quick uh, roundup of the um, of the little files, and to see if you understand everything. I just have to start like this. Uh, Quickly, just uh, uh, mm -hmm. oh. like this. Uh, there's always there's supposed to be always a little uh, explanation file. So in this case, uh, we press F12, it renders. But sorry. Select all and Control N. OK. So what does it do? It sweeps, uh, swaps the normals. OK, so that's, a, that's an easy one. Um, I have another one, like this. Uh, w4. Select all. W4 which will be remove doubles. OK, I guess I leave the uh, edit mode. Oh. On the, on the lamp? Uh, which one did you think? Oh. You move the bus. Uh, you mean this one? Yeah. I didn't see. Uh, I'm going a bit more. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> okay. So and and so on. Maybe uh, if you would like, I give you a little time to try the different files. S and uh, so now I, I suggest maybe we don't talk loud. We just, I explain them, and you keep your ideas. And then uh, in a moment, we are going to show, hopefully, uh, there are one or two that I don't know the answer. I'm just telling you, I'm limited. so. But we have great artists connection. Yes? Ah, oh, sorry. Um, so whenever you, you're like, um, maybe I'd use the normal one. Uh, it's F6. F6 to bring up uh, the dialogue of the operation that you just did. So for instance, I'm, um, I remove doubles. And either you have it here on, on the left side, or you just F, uh, F6. 
so we also, I also have a game engine little, this is really, you can see it's, it's a train. Uh, it's actually a Swiss train that goes from many cities. And uh, it was really during a project. Uh, I wanted to make a game engine kind of little demo. But whenever I pressed P, it just disappeared. So there's a reason for that. And I found it. I'm leaving it for later. And number four will be, uh, it's, of course it's modified, but it was also during a, a production that I, um, I had my colleague asking me, I, I made this, I made this with, it was actually painting or something. And when, whenever you press F12, it was like, hey, where are my red paintings, my objects? So this will be your, uh, your challenge also to try to find why, why I can see them. Um, another one with small uh, artifacts. Here, you can see some noise. Uh, it could be many reasons, so w after a while you know, oh, maybe it's this, maybe that, so, up. Uh, render pass shadows, so s that's something, I don't know, yeah. I wanted to have like two, of course not cubes, but two characters or something on specific layers and the shadows uh, have some problems. So I'm sure someone knows the answers. Uh, and then the last ones are a bit, um, they are grouped spots, like spotlights uh, in, in a scene. Uh, Based on this one, maybe later, this is also the last, one of the last uh, two little challenges. So maybe we, we, it can start a discussion about some, a few things. Uh, so for this one, I just explained that in the lib, uh, lib folder, you have, I'm not sure if you have all the same because I added some, but you will find spots. And, and they have, it's a mix, actually, you have like spots and when, when you press Alt A, you can see that the spots uh, turn around and show the, and do their dance. But if I'm linking, linking these in this one, so it's, it's just the, the uh, like a dupli group, it actually doesn't, doesn't play the animation. And, uh, I was a bit annoyed, but I found a, I don't know if it's a workaround, if it's something that should work or not this. So you will see. Thank you. Um. I give you a bit of time to talk and see with friends and around if you see and if you have questions uh, something else yeah So if someone solves all the, uh, I don't know, I think seven files, just uh, tell me and you win. On the train, I assume that maybe, Yeah, maybe they can win. The train might be, a, I'm not sure if it's a bug. See, that's what I'm
Does someone want to try it? I'm just going to see in the cubes. Showing around a bit to see. So how is it going? Okay, uh, someone asked about the number six. Oh yeah, this one, sorry. <coughs> so in this one, basically, I, it's, it's during uh, one of the production we have now. I have two characters, uh, let's say one red and one blue, and they, they, they have to really, uh, I want to separate them. Um, we can always find a better way, like you can, render two times or these kind of things. But it's just a simple things that suddenly I tried with cubes because whenever you're, at least I do, whenever I'm facing a problem, I try to simplify the problem and to, often I start with cubes and I do, okay, I know in my scene I have a cube and I have a mirror modifier and whatever things. So I'm recreating with simple things like eight uh, vertices, it helps a lot. So in this case, I recreated the, the simple problem, which is when you render. I have to show here, I'm using uh, render layers. So I have the blue cube and the red cube. They are using, you can see here, different, uh, showing the different layers. So they are on different layers. Let's go back to the 3D. Layer two is the blue one and layer three is the red one. I want to isolate them, to have render only the scene when the blue cube is here. And at the same time, render the same scene with the red cube instead, because the red cube is going to be the girl and the blue cube is a boy. And at one point I want to uh, mix them uh, together 
using compositing, and I just need these two at the same time. And so it ended up by something that I'm doing, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. You have the answer, Andy, right? It, and it's, it, it cannot be 2.7. It's, but <laughs> yeah, I, I really want just this thing to render without this shadow because it doesn't have to be here. Custom? Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to explain. It. We we do it by by team, but maybe you can come because I tried. No, late, later. Uh, we we will do one, two, three, four, five, all uh, by name. So how is it going? You do you have some solutions? I'm sure you have some. Some are okay. Some are a bit harder. Ah, but, but for all the people on IRC that are watching live, in case you can go to this uh, this URL to download the files and try by yourself to resolve them. That's also some information. So. You will find all the files that we are now playing with. You got it? OK, later. Excuse me, internet, especially IRC people. I'm sorry, but the internet connection here is also not extremely well, so it's a bit hard. It seems to be to come on IRC, but we will try. There's the, there's a question over there.
This one we made, right? Can you raise lamp? Ah oh, no. Can you raise lamp? Strange cube. Okay. So, how is everyone doing? A question? Sorry? You, s you solved the train problem. Okay. Who else did solve the train problem? <laughs> no, it, it, I tried um, basically to be easier to harder. Well, it's not necessarily harder, but... Uh, it's just something. Okay. And uh, who solved the the little red uh, red and blue cubes? Yeah, some people here. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. It's true. Sometimes it's fixed. Sometimes it's solved. So, and you didn't move the red cubes. Well, I fixed it by moving. By moving these cubes. So you. So you cheated? Yes. OK, so <laughs> good. Yeah. Hello, is this working? Yeah, it works. Good. So, who solved this? No, not this one. The um, number five. This one. This one was not that hard. So, I'm sure there are people solved it. Okay. You're about to. Uh, okay, render shadow we saw. And uh, what about this one with the grouped, uh, the linked library group? Did someone solve it or kind of find a solution? No? Okay. Okay. Hello. Do you guys need more time? Do you would like to have more time, or should we slowly start to see what we have? What? Who wants more time? Oh, yeah. Who is about to solve one? Okay, it's three more minutes. That's good.
Okay, so I think we slowly start to, to find the solutions. Uh, so I'm not coming back on the two first ones. We, we've seen it. Uh, this one was, it's not really a challenge. It's just something that sometimes happens and you don't know why or it's something to, to remember. So there's an orange lamp and uh, the idea was to to delete it without using the the outliner, because in the outliner you can see all the objects. So who solved it? Who found the way? Should be okay. So what kind of uh, solution did you have? Oh, and now now we can select the the lamp. So that's just something, it's also a way to, to, to remember to, that you, you can use this only render option, which is cool, really, sometimes. So that's an easy one. Did, did someone f find another way, like with Python or doing, creating a special operator and say it deletes orange lamp? Press select, select by type. Select. Ah, ah, mm-hmm. But now, yeah. Uh, yeah, but now, uh, okay, let's just restart. You are doing this and select all type by lamp. But basically, you're like deleting everything. So, okay, half a point. That's good, half a point. Um, do you have a number two, zero two? No? no? Okay. It's not a challenge to know where it's gone. It's a <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's somewhere. Um, <clears throat> so the game engine thing. So who found the solution or something? Mm, maybe the group there that found a lot of solutions, seems. <laughs> Sorry? on this train. Yeah, the train has a modifier, um, mirror modifier, so, whoops. Basically, I just applied the modifiers. It seems that it's not implemented, I would say. And now it works fine. But that's not the problem, because I had that same problem with a normal object that didn't have a mirror modifier. And it didn't show up in? It didn't show up, but it showed up when I copied the object with the same data, so it's at least not mesh related, it's object related. But it doesn't, it, your, your mesh modifier, your, your mirror modifier creates a new object in some way, maybe. I don't know. And, and we substitute for that. But it, uh, it is sorry. solvable by applied, but it's not really the cause. Okay. At least it wasn't in my case. And it didn't show in playback mode just like you do here. And it didn't have it didn't have any modifier. That's just a metric, just a normal normal object. Did you report a bug? No, huh? because I can't really recreate it or find Well I, I can't really I can't really decide if it's a bug. Or if it's just a lack of my knowledge of two point five X. Okay, I'm just retrying something that Jonathan said that you selected all the layers and it appeared. Can not the can? Time, no, not the second right, time. I guess my question then would be in regards to the modifier, though. Regardless of whether the modifier is implemented or not, it should still render half the frame. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Kind of, yeah. So is That's it true. Say, if there's a modifier, it's just. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you try to what? Try to remove the modifier instead of applying it. Open it fresh and mm. modify yeah. it. Yeah. See it as well. Hey. You see? It's not I added the hook. <laughs> and uh, whatever 
Yeah. So what do we say? <laughs> so is this a bug? Looks like. Or whenever you, so basically whenever you, you have a, an object and if you add a modifier, uh, especially one that does nothing, like a hook, and I play P, it disappears. It doesn't show up. Okay? Okay. I will report it then. Are there some developers? No. No. <laughs> okay, I will, I will tell them. <clears throat> so what about the render cubes? Did someone find a solution to render the red cubes without moving them? No? No. No, huh? Yeah? You think? Without moving them, because like, there are, you can see, there are other cubes on the other side. Mm -hmm. and, and if you select uh, not that, the, the one with the red, uh, well, you, <coughs> This one? <laughs> yeah, that's the solution. Uh, yeah, I know it, some people say, ah. <laughs> but that happened. I mean, that happened to me. It was not these cubes, but we had two uh, objects in a like a hole, and we were rendering and rendering and doing the things and like crazy, like where's my thing? And it's it's simply a question of precision. Because these cubes, if you go to top view, they have, they are just a little offset. And so, well, I guess the, the idea would be to always be precise, but you know, we are Swiss people, we don't make precise watches or things like this. So <laughs> we, had, uh, we had this problem and we, I think we looked at it for quite an afternoon or we really, you know, you you're thinking this this or not, and then of course you 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 find uh, you move the little red cubes, but suddenly you notice something, and it comes to to your mind. Uh, so what about this one? You got it. Who got it also? Big hands to you. Do you want to share your answer, maybe? And then, okay. So how would you, would you explain the, what's happening? Or, or maybe you, f you didn't go in edit mode, but you found another way? Well, okay. but I discovered it basically the same way by moving the original object and realizing there was another object underneath it, which if you then, you know, you try to select it, you can't select it. So immediately go to the outliner and see if it's you know, unselectable, and you'll notice that it's not there because it's actually parented to the other cube. And so in the outliner stack, it's set in a hierarchy below the other cube, which since it's toggled down, you can't see it. So you have to toggle the other cube down, and then you can render it selectable and delete it. Mm. I kind of do hide the things, I admit. But yes, that's exactly the thing. But good. Yeah. So I'm going to reload the file, and uh, we'll see what exactly happens. I guess it's a bit of a combination of different things that can happen. I'm, I kind of made it a bit harder, but um, so we will need an outliner because outliner is your friend whenever there are things, strange things, and or 
uh, objects that appear or disappear. <coughs> so if we move the cube, as maybe people did, or to have, we still have the problem. And that's because there is another cube here, this one, that is a child of the, the actual cube. And I disabled the selected, the selection, and the visibility. So of course, vis visibility is, uh, doesn't change a lot because it's exactly the same face. I just duplicated the face at the same place and tried to find a way to hide it. And, but now if I select, you can see that there is a face here. I enabled the select option from it. Yes? The vertex count gives it away as well. You have 16 bots in the scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can also see here vertices or faces information. And you count, and then you have some additional ones. So you can start to find, uh, try to find, oh, where is a hidden object or somewhere? Is it clear for everyone? Hidden face. So we have the render, um, render pass shadow. And, and Se Sebastian has a solution with, uh, you duplicate the light, right? Can you just uh, show it, or is it easy? <laughs> because I'm just not sure you. Because I, yeah, you do. I tried once and I just. Uh. But, yeah. So you just want to get rid of that black shadow and just have the shadow of the cube and that shadow. Yes, right. and the right. same for the blue one. And the same for the blue one. Well, so the um, the way to um, separate uh, light is to use render layers and different light sources. So if I bring this light to if. Uh, well, if the render layer with all cubes just renders render layer one, maybe. Um, then I bring, make sure that my one light source is on the layer with both and on the second layer. Because on the second layer, there will only be, um, there will only be the red cube on the second layer and this one will be, hopefully that works, uh, the background plane will be on all three layers. On the third layer, there will be the blue one, but it will also be as the red one on the first layer. Um, and then this lamp will be only, I duplicate that with Shift D and then move it to just the third layer. And I hope that this will work now with um, whereas blue on the th three, so that will be just here. Red will be just here, and that will be just there. And then I hope it works. No! <laughs> Where? Ah, exactly. Uh, thank you very, thank you very much. And I forgot to enable only this layer for both of these lamps. And I screwed up. No, I have it working there. Like no shadow from the blue on this one. But shadow cast on the problem. There's an additional shadow from. Okay, I have it working on my laptop, but now I screwed up. I have no idea. I'm con confused. Yeah. 
Well, now, if you have a solution, yeah, so you do I it. Uh, oh, you don't. No, but... I thought so. No, this is the only one I do not have a solution, so... Let me just check on my laptop. Yeah. So, just... Just to be clear, I want, like, one, lay one render layer, like this, and another render layer, uh, Um, yeah, but ah, hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, I think the blue one, no, red one. Hmm. No, okay, so that's the, that's the second image I want. I mean, the second render pass, because I don't want to render two times. I, I just solve the problem, work around the problem, but I'm going to have two times more render, and, and this, in the prediction is not. Yeah? Andy? But then you will get, how are you going to have an image like this? You recompose it, but you have the background, like let's say the environment, with both shadows, right? Yeah. So you cannot have an image like this. Uh, why I separated the characters is because uh, I, I have to add in like a transformation effect where the character is like, uh, you know, uh, spinning. Uh, the character is spinning on himself and he becomes another object or another person. And so I want to have them overlapping things. I could, if it's like a, a cut, then you can change the layers and make the uh, original object disappear and the other one come up. But I want them overlapping and I want them to render at the same time. So, I, I mean, we, we finished the movie, we can finish it. Uh, but it, it just appeared that um, I found this problem and I, I thought it's, there should be a way with, with like this option of uh, render only on, on, on this layer. But I, I haven't found the, um, I didn't find the, the good Render layer combination. So maybe we can also leave it open. And but I heard someone. I, I want one image like this. Yeah, on, on the other. Yeah, no, I want really like this. Like if the object was not here, basically. If the, if the <laughs> do what? Two? Two render layers. One is blue cube and one is red cube and every player has its own map. Maybe? Yes. That yeah? Works. That, that worked here. That worked here? Yes. Okay, so. That that simple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I think it's so simple. Oh, so uh, let's come back. 
But isn't it going to, no, okay. So it's like this? No, no, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, but it is already like this, no? This, uh, No, this, but you have this? Uh, not three lamps. You need three lamps, three different lamps. Okay, so this one is on this yeah. one. And then on layer two, I do not have a lamp, so I'm going to duplicate, put it on the second. Yeah. And the third one is only on this one. And I need this layer only? Yes. Enable, okay. For both of them. Okay. No, I couldn't because then that one lamp was a casting shadow from the combined layers to the other one. Can I try? Yeah. Yeah. Can you sure. reopen the file? To Let's the see. Yeah. One? Well, we have it almost working. Let's see. Okay. Red cube, blue cube, red, red cube. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And oh, and uh, yeah. What did you do now? This oh, two cubes. Right? Scroll down and. Why cubes. didn't it? It's so. Somehow, somehow. it's easy, yeah? yeah. Somehow. <laughs> somehow. <laughs> but not really. <laughs> no, it, it, but down. it seems logical. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, the way. Uh, but again, then you have three lamps now. But okay, you can you just link them and uh, and you're fine. And uh, what's your name? And Jörg Müller has a, <laughs> seems to be to have found a better answer with only two lamps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I just let you do. Okay. <laughs> Without lamps. Mm -hmm. Without lamps. No. Can you do it? Um, so we have the lamp selected now, and I move the lamp to the second layer, where the red or the blue. Uh, Cubis, and I check this layer only for the shadow, and then I duplicate it and move this one to the third and render. Yeah, yeah it's here, but mm -hmm. yeah, composite blue and red. Done. Voilà. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, on the combine, on the, the two cubes? Uh, the two cubes, it has two ah. ones, yeah. That's a problem. No, yeah, in this case, you would not, but, uh, yeah. That's a but problem, yeah. but. But it's another good uh, but solution. But you have the two pictures you want to have. Yeah. <laughs> the split ones. <laughs> okay. Great, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, up to the number seven. So you understood, because sometimes uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's clear what I wish. is like really the group spot, they have no animation. Uh, because th this part is a group that is in a linked library, and I'm opening the in the lib file, the file spots, and <clears throat> you can see on layer one, uh, actually two, sorry, on layer two, that they have an animation. There is an animation, there is an action, and it just doesn't doesn't play in the the main file, let's say. So it seems some people have solved it. Is it? Yeah? How? No? OK, uh, Andy, you s Eh? Ah. OK. OK. So I saw a hand raising. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, anyway, you, okay. There is a solution without reopening or modifying the original library, but we can have a look and maybe it can give some indications or something. So, 
Yes, these spots, because they are the same object, they are themselves groups. The group is on layer six, and this is the one that has the animation. So that, that's one spot, right? On layer two, I have the, uh, the different uh, spots with their, and they all play the same animation. And now here, it just doesn't play. So, and, hmm? Um, no, but look what if now I create, I create a new, a new file and I link in the library, I'm going in spots, I have two groups, one called the group of spots, which is the four, uh, which are, is the four spots, and one simple that is the spotlight. If I have the spotlight, he's doing fine. So if I do like this, it will, it will work because they are individual objects. Oops. But now here, it doesn't work. And I'm going to, sh to show you how I um, solved it or I don't know if it's logical. But it's simply, kind of simply, by adding the spotlight group in the scene. Now, that's because the group of lights is just an instancing of the, the first spotlight group. But it has to be somewhere. The I mean, group of the spotlight contains the animation, but the group of spots does not contain the animation itself. It only contains the instancing of the spotlight group. OK, but it's still, I mean, look. The animation is, is in the file. I mean, the, what's, I don't know the name of the animation. Uh, uh, it's whatever, spots running, dancing. But to me, it is. I didn't, look, I didn't link something, so. It looks like a dependency graph. Oh, okay, again. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that's also a possibility. It would be to, it's the yeah proxy and or is the, is the same as uh, like yeah we linked the both uh, animations, but it would be so. Um, <clears throat> the last one wasn't actually a, a, a challenge. I'm sorry if people. Uh, well, it's I don't. Know, it's more like a question or something, uh, and this is more like for open for the for the rest because for for my part I and I'm just finished with the f uh, small challenges and I hope you all guys had some fun and you like it and uh, if you like the idea then maybe we can do it again l next year. So, would you like to? Woo! Good. So from now on, whenever you're producing something and you get stuck with something, uh, think about me and try to remember. <laughs> not, not about uh, how I solved the problem, but for me for next year. So you can just send me the things or to Ton or to whoever. Uh, but I'm going to do more a bit adver uh, advertisement before and I will try to, hopefully other people will have problems and we can all uh, like get to share them like this. Um, <clears throat> I know it sounded a bit different, the, the conference, and some people had also questions. And, but in the end, it's, I thought it was quite fun also to do like this. So just about this one, Andy, you said you s kind of solved it or?
by doing uh, proxies for each guy. Because <coughs> I'm just, uh, this was also a question and um, like I have these uh, spots. Um, they don't do anything. What are they supposed to do? Okay, they are now doing their animation and what I want, they are like groups, object, and I want to offset just the time when they start. And I do remember in 249, yeah, yeah? I don't know. Um, and I've seen this one. I, okay, there's a, a kind of word hack. Okay, <laughs> I close this tab and it never happened. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so how? But I have to, okay, I have to make a proxy of the armature. No? Not anymore. Okay, so, um, oh. Uh, action strip. Oh. I have to do something like this. Delete, no. No, wait. I have to, I have to create something to make an action. That's strange. Okay, I scrub and I move it here. Where? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> so now, how do I delete it here? I don't know. It's like only here. It's still playing here after uh, a while. And I, w I don't want this now. I want it really only to play at frame 300. In the dope sheet? The, sorry, I didn't hear. The menu bar, scroll to the left. And oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, Th there was really this thing. Yeah, yeah, it worked. We used it, and it was really good and, and quick, and you can do, you don't have to, you even don't have to you have armatures, and you just have a group that has things happening, like a table moving, and things on the table, and you just offset this, and the group works. So I, I thought in, with the NLA there will be something kind of uh, just quick, quick to do. Um, so it's an open question. That's uh, always good. Next year. Next year. Yeah. Next year. Oh. <laughs> All right. No. Yeah. There, there is, it, it's. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. I, 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 wait. I, 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 I don't move. Sorry. <laughs> don't, don't. You can don't. Move this. I don't wait. I had. Oh. Hey, I think I just made the an animation hack work. Kind of understood something. Oh. But the zero. Yeah, it's strange. Uh, sorry, in the action editor? Uh, 
sync action length. No, but look, you still have this one. The But look. Okay, let's work. Oh, sorry. He proposed to open fresh, and it works. Uh, but he's not sure. With the action editor, you just add the action. And then you can, it's like double, no? It's going way more down. Because, <coughs> because I, I have it on, on frame 100 to, it's like, it's not overriding the original animation. It should not be here because I'm offsetting in a new frame. So anyway, this was just a, I thought it was a good uh, ending. To the, those keys. Uh, they do not, no? Because I'm, uh, I'm linked. So if I make, make, make it. It's still here, and now it's going. So that's the same that we did with NLA. And uh, yeah. <coughs> it's an open, uh, open question. So. Um, yeah, but the idea would also to be to keep the link because if I'm going to modify the color or the the thing of these objects, maybe I mean, yeah, I, I could maybe proxify everything. Unlink uh, which animation? No, he said no. No. Ah, no, uh, you mean add, add f empty frames so that it takes predestines? Uh, no, it's still supposed to. Um, hmm. M yeah. If, yeah, even if it worked, I... So I, I have to add new frame, new keyframes key in my. Uh, no. no? How? But now it's playing here. Um, <laughs> this one. Wait, no, no, don't do this one. Um, yeah. 
But I think it, it, it brings the question also of having the same character in the same scene also, basically. Like, no, oh, I'm just asking and maybe it has. Anyway, so does someone else have some questions or some things? Yeah? I see, I think I see, it. <clears throat> because yeah, the, the NLA kind of work, okay, it works, but we, yeah, we have this additional at, at this time that we want to get rid of. So what you suggest is to go to the live file, <coughs> oh, armatures, and to delete, uh, but maybe we need just to keep it as a fake user so that it doesn't lose it, and we, Unlink it here so that the original file doesn't move. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Spot and group spot armature. So now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, half an hour for with so many people. That's good. No, no, yeah, nice, great. So uh, yeah, I think I'm very happy. Uh, you solved my problems, and I solved. I helped you solve also some challenges. So, Is it still This one. Yeah. For five minutes. Yeah. Wrap it up. But, um, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, you mean animation in? Uh, you mean in the NLA? Oh, that's no. So now we can. We are supposed to be able to animate this guy. Yeah? Yeah, I got it. Okay, let's. Um, yeah, I just have to rebuild it <laughs> like it was. So that's the original library. And the file, this one, that's not the original. Uh, what did I change? <coughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't often do this, right? Uh, group, this one, yeah. So, just do it. <laughs> so, you, sorry? No, they, they are moving, but uh, at frame 100. Uh, bec because the original animation has a, the original file has an animation from 100, okay. but uh, just a detail. And or do you want to come? Yeah, don't, don't be shy. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, where is that? This is the armature one? Let's see. 
Yeah. yeah. How much is... Maybe you just proxy file? How much is... Let me see what I've got here. Hold on. <laughs> It's a good one, spot armature. But that's the origin, that's the, the library file. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, well, it's still, yeah? Work. Sorry? Yeah, for me, it's a, it's a very good... I think he got even two points here. He's, he's like the same guy as, as the render layers, as the shadow, so... Excellent. Ah, it's in there, okay. Bravo, so I'm proud for him. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, that's all for me. Yes. Excellent. Do you see the right? Um no, this one. This one? Right, yeah. So pick the in the first layer, it's gonna be everyone. So we will be also the first layer. So this one go also the first one? Oh uh -huh. no. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to do pi cubes. And the blue one only three came out. And one. Right. Now, on the first Oops. Layer. Ah, stupid keyboard. Um, okay. And sorry, the. Oh, this one is only one and the third layer. This one is only on one and the third, now, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, no, okay. Yeah. Maybe this one also, or? Let's do it simple. So we have two cubes, the red cube, okay. <laughs> we know, and the other cube. Right. Did, 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 you, did, uh, Dalai, did you check the number three? The, did you check the number three, the game engine one? Okay, just, yeah, look, <laughs> I have a train, and whenever I press P, it just doesn't show up in the game. And that seems to be because of a modifier. Oh, that's a bug. Okay. <laughs> any, any modifier, right? Not all of them, but some of them. Is like, that okay. Now, because, sorry? The what? Does it work? Yeah, yeah, it works. Okay. <laughs> Great. So that's uh, that's all for me. The bus comes, so let's go to the end. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. We, we can do it. Internet. I want In to show the, the website. Ah, uh, I think I would stuff. try with Bali Extra. But probably you don't have faster internet via the cable. Uh, if you have a cable, yeah, because... Ah, here. Works seems to. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, hmm? you mentioned a guy with an animation problem. He said someone wanted to animate a piston. What kind of thing? Yeah, that's a piston. Me. That's, me. that's you. Yeah, yeah. yeah so but you want to talk. Did you? 